new 10-hour infallible La Rouge. Do you feel it? Only from L'Oreal Paris. Because we're worth it. Now, throughout history, women have been painting their lips red. Sure, there's been pastel colours like what I'm wearing right now, and it's been very cool, but red lips are the ones that get the second glance, drawing attention at every pout, at the slightest smile. It's a universal classic and has yet to go out of style. Yet many women assume that they can't wear it, but you are wrong. This morning, we're going to show you how with beauty blogger Lee Van Denberg. How are you doing? Hi, nice very to be nice back. nice to see you again, yeah. hey? You mustn't be such a strange on the show. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Invite me again. Now listen, Lee, red lips, we have said it's a universal colour, but some women are very iffy when it comes to wearing it um, because I think there are a few different tones and not all of the tones go with every woman. Yeah. Um, tell us through what, us, what some of the different tones are. Well, you know, it can be very scary, but if you pick a red that flatters your skin tone, mm -hmm. then you're okay. Like, if you have warm skin, like you yes. for instance, people like Jennifer Lopez, yeah. anyone who's a bit warmer or darker, they can pull off your more coral, orangey type yes. of reds. Those yes. are your warm shades. Mm -hmm. If you're pale like me, <laughs> you you need your sort of cool toned reds, which are, they almost have a bit of a purple blue undertone. Yeah. It yes. sounds weird, but if you can't see it, just go to the makeup counter lady and say, please help me. I'm looking for a blue or a warm wow. orangey tone. Yeah. I heard about that. I heard about a blue based red. Yes. Which seems kind of like yeah. counterproductive. What is a blue based red? You know, if you look at it, it's almost got like a, a bluishy purple cooler mm -hmm. undertone, which is nice because actually when you wear it, it makes your teeth look whiter. Yeah. Um, if you wear like a very corally orangey red, what that can do, it can actually bring out the yellow in your teeth, okay. which isn't a good look. <laughs> no, definitely not. And no. then you get a true red. A true red is a wonderful neutral red. It's that okay. kind of, it doesn't lean to either shade of the spectrum. It's like what's on my nails. Okay. Um, it will flatter everyone. Wow, yeah. awesome. Now back again to the fact that a lot of women feel that they can't because I think red speaks about somebody that's more uh, confident. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is the fear around red lipstick for most women? You know, it's, it's because it's so bright. It's right there. It instantly draws attention to mm -hmm. your mouth. Um, but the thing is, you don't have to be scared. Like, yeah. there, there's ways to do it subtly. Like me, for instance, because I have small lips, if I wear a very dark red colour, mm -hmm. I'll look like that queen from Alice in Wonderland. You know, with yeah. that tiny little, like, yeah, yeah, speck, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. your lips will look tiny. But if you, for instance, I'll put on, like, a, a sheer cherry sort of red lip stain, mm -hmm. and then I slick gloss over it. And okay. it's a much less scary way to do it. And also the gloss, it's reflective, so it creates the illusion of a fuller-looking mouth. Now, for me, that has a fuller-looking yeah. mouth, should I stay away from red lipstick? No, highlight your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Show off your big sexy Put it out mouth. there. Put it out yeah. there. But pick a tone that's, of course, going to compliment it and not like you. Yeah. you know, kablam, like a clown. No, you couldn't look like a clown. <laughs> Seriously, you can pull off bright red. You've got okay. enough of a, a skin tone. In awesome. fact, most women can pull off bright red, provided they pick the right tone. There we go. Now, um, let's talk about not only the red lipstick, but how the rest of your face looks. Mm. What should be happening with your eye uh, area when wearing mm, red lipstick? Now, you see, this is the thing. Um, when you wear red lipstick it's a very bold statement sort of thing so don't go and have dark eyes on top of that if you do your eyes incredibly dark on top of your red lipstick you're just going to end up looking overly made up and it's like having just two features that are competing yeah, for attention yeah. rather mm. just focus on one no definitely mm. so no dark um uh, what, what's it it's called um smoky eyes yeah smoky yes. smoky i do that when you have like just a neutral lip Okay. Don't, don't let the two sort of clash with each other. Smoky eyes are amazing, but then in that case, you're going to want a nude, subtle mouth. Okay, let's look at some of the celebrities mm. that are very, very famous for their red lips. Um, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. She's, she also loves her red now lip quite see, a bit, doesn't she? there's an example yeah. of someone who has fuller lips yeah. but looks amazing in red. Absolutely. Mm. Taylor Swift. Yes, hey, light skin a... as well. <laughs> They're on screen at the moment. Uh, <laughs> She's got a quite quite a light skin like yours. Yeah, yeah. But she wears a, a, a lip that pops quite mm, a bit. Hey? No, it looks fabulous on her. Yeah. I've seen her wear red. Yeah. That famous scene where uh, Kanye West interrupted her when she mm. was doing her, her, her acceptance speech at the Grammys. And then, of course, Jessica Biel as well. Yes. Quite a beautiful yeah. red, red lip. Mm, she Wonderful. looks also full lips, fabulous. Yeah. Wonderful. Any mm. last words for those women that are attempting to wear red lips but have, you know, kind of wanted to steer clear of it? 
I think like with anything that's sort of statement making, if you wear it with confidence, mm. then you're going to be okay. Absolutely. Yeah. There we go. Confidence is everything. Wear that red lip, but keep the eyes very, very, very neutral. You don't want to be too much of a shocker out yeah. there. Hey, It's all about the lips. Thank you so much, Lee. Only Where pleasure. can we find more information about you? Uh, just visit my blog. It's uh, lipglassismylife.com. And yeah, I'm just, I'm always reviewing products and writing about new beauty trends. There it's we fun. go. Lip gloss yeah. is my life. And of course, Laurie Howe has some great, great red lips for you. So you can check that out as well. Thank you so much. Always lovely to chat to you, Lee. Lee and Lee. We'll be right back after the break.